beautiful people. My name is Sharia. This is the Sharia Mac channel where I document my debt-free journey, share budgeting videos, cash envelope stuffings, in hopes to build wealth, retire early, or become work independent. If you are new here, thank you so very much for clicking on this video. And if you are a returning subscriber or a viewer, thank you so very much for coming back. In today's video, I'm doing something a little different. I will be closing out my May Paycheck 1 budget. If you are a regular viewer, um, this video is a little bit late. And that is because I had gotten an email, I think I discussed it in my last video, from a viewer who also wanted to see um, me budget or include in my budget my part-time income. Um, if you are new here, you are aware, where you're not aware that I work one full-time job as a social worker on call and two part-time jobs. And from one part-time job, the pay is on the, I received the, that pay on the same day that I received the pay from my full-time job but one my part-time job um one of my part-time jobs falls on a different pay week sometimes sometimes it falls in the same week just on a different day and usually when it does that i include it in the budget but for like this month those i got paid every other friday and those other fridays um were opposite of my full-time and my other part-time job pay dates i hope that makes sense so i kind of i tried to stretch out this budget video to include that income and because we don't get pay stubs or anything i never really know how much to include i can never really anticipate how much to include because it varies based on my hours and my um client contacts so i can never really do an accurate guesstimate um, to include in my budgets when I do my budgets based off my full-time and the um, part-time job with the same pay dates. So we'll get into that. Um, shout out to all the new subscribers. Thank you so very much. I am at 350, hoping to get to 400 very soon. And I did share in my other video that my target debt for May well, the beginning of May, I became credit card debt free, and now I'm working on my 401k loan, which is currently at a balance of $86.52. And I do update um, the 401k and my mortgage over on my Instagram channel. I mean, my Instagram page. If you are not following me there, please make sure to do so that so that you can keep up with my journey on a more frequently frequent basis. But thanks so much for clicking on this video and we will get right into closing out the first paycheck budget and into this budget okay so this was my first paycheck for may um, as you can see, the income source, and these are accurate, accurate income sources. One was 1852, one was 800 dollars, and then my part-time paycheck that came on the opposite week was 556. I don't remember the change. Um, so that the total income for the first half of May ended up being 3208 was what I actually got for the first half of May. Um this was correct. I did end up paying these amounts um first to the savings accounts. Uh my Wells Fargo home mortgage, that was the correct amount. My mortgage number two is actually 402, but I paid 410 and I'm just going to continue to do that. All of these are fixed expen expenses, so they're pretty much going to be accurate. There are most of these are already automatically deducted from my account. 
um the taxes were eighty dollars that's the only expense it's a fixed expense i always take eighty dollars which is ten percent out of this income but i just put that into a separate savings account and then um this was my snowball amount and then this was what was left for me to pay this account off so um this actually should be 304 plus the 99 dollars but that bought this extra snowball payment is what bought my balance to 1559 this over here is also correct. I made this payment, well, not a payment, but I saved this amount and I went ahead and paid for the year for TubeBuddy so that it could help grow my YouTube channel, particularly with SEO. It's a very helpful tool to have and this is not sponsored. I paid for this myself. And then this was to finish paying out um, what I borrowed from my savings account to buy us a washing machine. As far as gas, I mean my cash envelopes, um, this was correct. I actually went over in groceries and by this amount, and I think it was because I had already made some purchases before I had stuffed my grocery. It was small and I think I discussed it in this video where I think I had already spent like $7 or so, but I'm not sure. Um, we did not go over in eating out, so that was correct this was paid out correctly i ended up not having therapy because i ended up going to work i budgeted 90 i budgeted 50 dollars in offering but i gave 90 dollars um and then the medical was correct and vacation was correct vacation is actually a sinking fund so that will you'll see in my newer in my starting my june budget um it'll have it'll be over in the actual sinking funds so we're gonna add those up okay so i totaled all of this up and it ended up being 531.52 which is over by 50 dollars so we will do the math here so this ended up being 3208 so I'm gonna subtract it. So I'm gonna start here, 3208, 10 minus, I'm gonna do 1354 because this includes the debt snowball payment. 64 equals minus 317.67 minus 150 minus 531.52 so this actually totaled 854.27 and so 234 went to pay off Best Buy and I think it was less than that. I want to say it was like 204 because I had made a payment that obviously had not um, posted. And so I think I only had to pay 204. So I'm going to subtract 204. So that left 650. And then I did put $50 into my savings. So that left $600. And that $600 actually went into another savings account. And on this past Sunday, I made a mortgage principal payment of $1,570. And I wish I could tell you where all of that came from, but I don't remember. Anyhow, that is what happened. And uh, I don't have, I did not end up, I did not leave a buffer in my account. Um, it was actually zeroed out, so there was no buffer this time. Um, and that was because I made that mortgage payment of 1570 and I don't know why I don't know 
where the other $900 came from but I don't know I'm sorry <laughs> this is why I need to do these more frequently I have a, a bad memory okay so I figured out where that money came from for me to make the $1,500 mortgage principal payment and it was because I got paid on the 15th the budget that I just closed out was from the 1st to the 15th. I got paid on the 15th. And when I do that budget in the next video, you'll see exactly how much my snowball, how much of a snowball I had left to add to this um, balance to make that payment. So thank you. I was going crazy. Like, where did I get that money from? But that's why I had gotten paid again since then. So um again this was the closeout of may paycheck one budget and i'm getting ready to go into may paycheck two budget to also include my part-time income that was recently that was paid to me today um i don't know when you guys will see that budget video but um that part-time income was paid to me today may the 22nd so Thank you so very much for watching my video and dealing with my foolishness. Um, that is where I am. Like I, I did announce in my last video or one of the last videos that I am credit card debt free. And now my new, my next target is my 401k loan. And so we will see um, exactly how much I will have to throw at that debt coming up in my next budget video. Also to come are cash envelopes. Um, I have not. I actually went to the bank a week ago, but I like to do them in order from like, okay, so budget, the budget closeout, which is this video, is something new because I think it's important for me to track my habits. I do go back and look at my budget almost daily to see where I can cut, but I just was not doing that on camera, but I do think it's something important to share with my viewers and it's an important part of my journey. So I'm starting to share that on camera. So I like to do my budget videos, then my cash envelopes usually follow up shortly after the budget videos. The cash envelopes really should be a priority because that is what gets me the most views at this moment. But I feel like it should be some order. So, you know, I, to me, it does not make sense for you to see that I'm what I'm stuffing if you have not seen my, my budget. So, but anyhow, um, Comment down below if you do like actually seeing the budget closeouts. I think it's important because you need to be able to track your habits. I also plan on doing um, spending tracking because although I do carry a good amount of cash, well, because I carry a good amount of cash and it's important to see, you know, where I'm spending because those cash envelopes may need to decrease or increase. Usually I do not ever have money left in, left over from any of these um envelopes but uh, so i definitely would not need to decrease them but i may definitely need to increase them anyhow comment down below if you like seeing the budget check-ins do you do a budget check-in if so how often do you do them um if you actually do them on a channel comment your channel down below i would definitely go check it out and that is it for today's video thank you so very much for watching Please remember to like, comment down below if you like these budget check-ins and if you do them on your channel so I can go check them out and support. <clears throat> um, subscribe if you have not already subscribed and click the notification bell so that you are notified any moment that I post a new video at the moment. I I'm really trying to do Wednesday and Sundays to get my viewers up. My goal is to be up to 500 500 subs by the end of this quarter which is april may june so i have about 150 subscribers to go and i really need to pick up the pace that i'm dropping videos um i lost my train of thought comment down below subscribe if you have not already click the notification bell so you can know when i post new videos at the moment i do post every wednesday i'm trying to increase that from one video a week to two videos a week 
and make sure you like the video it helps to push my videos up in the algorithm in the youtube algorithm hopefully that'll get me some more subscribers or at least some new viewers that i can convert to some subscribers thank you so very much thank you so very much for watching thus far do remember that this journey is indeed a journey and not a destination bye